looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over a few things in today's video first we have mutt rewards that are out and in the game so i'm gonna be opening my mutt rewards packs for you guys showing you guys them kind of informing you that they are in the game as well as ranking the best uh, player to choose from your free 96 fantasy packs i will be ranking them one through four so again you know how that list goes right my first overall player may not be a good choice for you because you have that position already so then take my second overall maybe you have a max out team so you just take the safe pick right so that's what my rankings are about i'll be going in depth on all four players ranking them from worst to best and of course opening my map reward packs now guys if you are into the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below let me know which 96 you're going to take out of your fantasy pack and why as well as if you guys do need coins for anything head on over to muck coin bank down below and use code poodle at checkout now the thing is here guys the mutt rewards if you guys already didn't get them they're rolling out now if you guys did get them or you didn't get them at all and you ever you know and by the end of the day maybe contact ea help or if your account wasn't linked you may have missed out on them i'm not sure what the uh you know what the protocol is on that in terms of you know getting it you know linking your account after they already been released right but we do have our mutt rewards all pro tier so i don't want to get into these now they're probably just some easter packs which again if we go to the store and check out the easter packs i never pay for these packs so honestly i don't mind getting them for free quite honestly because it gives me a chance it gives people a chance to open up seasonal packs who can't afford packs or just don't like opening packs like myself right so it'll probably be like one of these packs right here like a not an egg one but a regular easter pack which of course i can't seem to find is there is there a regular pack here uh maybe maybe an egg pack maybe just give me it might give me like an 88 plus or something again the details were in the uh the, the notes but i like to be surprised by my reward packs hopefully it's gonna be if it's an egg that's cool too i wonder if i open this up if it'll be a few things now i i always open that pack on accident okay so the all pro tier let's see what we got out of this so when we open it up we get a sugar rush fantasy pack so that's pretty cool hopefully it's good hopefully there's some rounds to this you know okay so sugar rush fantasy pack again let's open it up okay what do we got so we have three we have three rounds so in round one we have some golds i get a team of the week right there. that's actually pretty cool in the first one elite 84 chris harris and another elite okay that actually wasn't bad for the first round right assuming that's a bad round next we have robert quinn another okay so there are a lot of elites in here jimmy garoppolo we have a higher elite oh, nope no we don't i lied and then we have another elite okay so this was a horrible round <laughs> wow okay thanks Okay, we get a Easter Sugar Rush player here. We get 94 Mark Ingram. And then for the final card, we get 88 Adam Shaheen. So Mark Ingram's actually not a bad pull at all. So again, for a free pack, I just got like, what is this? I got four elites. And then which you can use like positional heroes maybe at some point or some other, you know, end game promo that we end up getting. And Mark Ingram, which actually isn't bad at all. The card itself sucks, but I can I can always sell it. Let's go see. So this isn't a bad value in terms of, you know, it being free, right? Because this is actually like free, free. It's not like when we say things are kind of free or like it is sort of free or it's almost free. Like this is just like your part of my rewards. You, you know, it's just there. 100K. So I'm just going to put that up on the block real quick before that does drop in value because I know that's going to drop pretty fast. I put him up for like 96K. See if I get a quick buck on him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I went way too over there. Let's put him up for like 94K, right? Nine, 94 get a quick buck because i don't want to end up being stuck with that card at like a 40k 50k you know you know how that stuff goes but that's not bad but now let's get on over to the rankings like i said guys if you don't have mutt rewards link type in mutt rewards in your internet browser you'll eventually see it go link it up now again if you didn't get this one maybe you can contact them and see if they'll grant you one and if not at least you're eligible for the next ones and then you know years and that to come to make sure you do that all linked up and i know some people may have issues like i have a personal issue with mutt rewards where like Back in the day when I was like super young, you know, I used to have family members who used to play on my Xbox and they used to sign into their own EA and link it to my account so they could play their stuff in my house or when they were here. And it actually ended up being like a permanent of a permanent link that I've never been able to undo. So I had a bunch of issues uh, doing my mutt rewards. I imagine I'm not the only one with a similar issue, but just getting that out there, it's definitely a headache and you're not the only one. But yeah, let's go to ranking these guys. So let's head on over to uh, Sugar Rush 96s so we can go ahead and rank them. Now let's go shorts. Okay, so my number four guy on the list is going to be Cam scram newton why is cam newton the last on the list because he doesn't have a power up right and again like with most things this year when you get a nat player one of the first things you look for is a power up because if they're not you probably want to keep him most of the year or at least you know if you're not going to toss him into the set which this set doesn't give him back nat so it's not exactly the most worthwhile set now as a play stat wise he's not bad he gets all the throwing thresholds he gets 99 throw power he has good speed he has good throw on the run he has some stiff arm he has some trucking like an 87 stiff arm is good 86 juking is decent 98 throw power 84 carrying is not bad 
but he's a scrambler archetype which is the worst possible archetype for a quarterback right now as well as the fact that he is not going to be you know get all the abilities you want on him as well as not having a power up so all that combined does hurt this cam newton card now patriots team team uh maybe you know Patriots team team's gonna look good. I don't think he can get him on a Panthers team team, right? Unless these cards have all the teams, which I don't think so. Probably can't be on a Panthers. So he's gonna be a Patriots strictly only theme team, which isn't actually horrible because you know if you're a Patriots team team, the best quarterbacks you have are like, you know, a Brady. And you know, most people don't want to play with a Brady card, right? So Cam Newton's not bad on a theme team, but personally, I don't think many people are gonna want to pick this card. Come in number three. We got Calais Campbell, wherever he is. Uh Calais Campbell. Now, why is he only number three on the list and not higher? A few reasons first off he's an end what's wrong with ends is that we just have some crazy ends and outside linebackers in the game already so it's going to be very hard for a player to really be st stand out right so 76 speed off the rip guys we have guys like ricky uh jackson you know all these guys who have like high 95 speeds so they are 20 speeds uh fast than calais campbell and in, you know if you're playing franchise you're playing regs that's fine but when you're playing ultimate team the quarterbacks have 90 speeds the running backs have 99 speeds the wide receivers have 99 speeds you need ends that can play at that level of speed because of you know with escape artists or anything people moving so fast a slow end gives you and with gunslinger like a slow end like a slow end gives you like a second and a half to get that throw off you're gonna get the throw off every time now you get a guy like 95 speed you have you know like a quarter second you better get that ball off and it's gonna be under pressure right because you get there quicker too it, it's just a big improvement when the guy is fast so off the rip clays campbell has to play a defensive tackle just because of that speed Again, theme teams aside, but he has to play defensive tackle, and most people don't even play defensive tackles this year, so all around, this card's just not going to be the best option for most people. I mean, again, his block is great, going to be 98. His power will be 99. He's going to be a great pass rusher, great run stuffer, but because of speed, he's never going to be a top option, which is why I can't recommend him, unless he's powered up on a Jags team team or a Ravens team team, right? That's like the most what accurate way I can describe him being useful. Next, guys, we have Roger Saffle coming in number two. Now, he's the safe pick. That's all I was referring to, right? Maybe you don't like any of these other guys who have a meta team. Just take the safe pick. Take Roger Saffold, power him up. You cannot go wrong with a 97 overall powered up uh, guard that could probably get up to 98 overall. He will have maxed out run blocking, mid-95s, uh, you know, pass blocking, 95 strength. He'll have 82 acceleration, which isn't horrible. He'll have a lead block of 96, impact blocking of 96. Overall, this card will be a safe choice. You know, like if you if you get him and you have like a, a team of the year, Nat uh, guard, and then you have a team of the year, Nat, another lineman. At the end of the day, you have an entire line of free players, right? You could take the Mud Heroes as their free players too for those four weeks. If you put if you take all the Mud Heroes as linemen and you take this guy, you have a full offensive line for the rest of the year. End game set and forget it. You don't have to pay a single cent, right? I think that's super important in my personal opinion. Now that's why he's the safe pick in my in my opinion, right? Now, for the first overall guy on this list to take, it's going to be Kendall Fuller. And now, I wasn't the biggest fan of this card, but compared to the other cards, he actually stands out. Uh, because the only reason I don't like this card is the hit power. Hit power sucks, and, you know, he could have been a little bit taller. But at the end of the day, guys, 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 play rec with 98 to 99 speed safeties don't grow on trees for free, right? So, again, you may not have the hit power, but you're going to have everything else. He has good catching at 78 catching, 95 change of direction, guys. Like, you can't, like, that's going to be 96 power from Kemda. Like, he's going to be one of the best users in the game. Well, one of the better users, right? Not the best. One of the better users because, again, he doesn't have the height and he doesn't have the hit power, which is going to hurt him a little bit. But overall, Kendall Fuller is still going to make one of the better choices at safety. And, of course, he's free, right? So, that, that's, like, the big thing there. It's, like, would you rather pay $500,000 for, you know, a house that's, you know, a really nice house? Or would you rather pay nothing for a house that's nice, but not really, really nice, right? Like, it's like, okay, it's going to be free. I'll, I'll, that, that looks nice to me, right? It's kind of one of those things. So, Kendra, Kendall Fuller is looking really, really solid for a free card out of all the options. But again, if you don't want, if you don't, if you know that your safeties are solid, you just take the safe pick. The safe pick's the guy that no matter what, you'll find a spot for, right? Because you throw him at left guard, but you have a left guard, right? Quentin Nelson, team of the year auction will go sell them and that's it right now you now you can just fill out your line and get some coins back but yeah, that's about it hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below let me know what's going on and of course if you guys need coins head over to muck coin bank and use code poodle for five percent off thanks so much for watching i'm out peace